Hi, this is Grisha from Marco Plugin, and in today's video we are going to create an email design PC system inspired by this email beauty brand. This is our final result. We are going to have by the end of the video. We, uh, we are going to have all the components for this template, such as header, product cards, footer, and we can reuse it with the Marco Plugin. Simply drag and drop all these components to your template. We're going to use Figma component properties to make text editable from right sidebar in Figma. So let's break down these emails into components. What we have, we have a top section kind of top banner with author. Then we have a logo section, we have a product kind of CTA with text, uh, text and button. Then we have some product grid with header and footer. Also, we have uh, another product grid with vertical section with this mask. We are going to recreate these two. And we have reviews here. And we are going to rec recreate all these components into our tutorial and build emails from these components. So let's first start with the uh, reviews. Let's create, we are going to use a fixed 100 width email grid for our components. Let's create a one review component. First, let's just create a structure without auto layout. So uh, let's add a text, text inside component and use another color from our own new design system and use and let's use photo for one of our products. Let's use this photo and place it here. And next let's create a name and let's add a star rating. To create a star rating, let's go here, create a star, update this component a little bit. Now let's add an image of the product. Unfortunately, in email design, we cannot create this structure with text. We, we cannot place an image over the, over, the, over the card this way, because in email design, absolute positioning and relative positioning do not work. So we're going to put it inside our review section, like so. So this is our basic structure for our review. To make it work with the Marco plugin, I would recommend to add an auto layout to this section. Do so click here. By default, it adds new grid section. We should turn switch to the vertical. Then let's create a container for our stars. And then let's uh, for the for the review, let's switch to the horizontal alignment and update with as hack content, update some spacing and paddings, and put it inside our six width container. We need to add auto layout to our parent container too. To do so, please simply click here. So let's try to preview this block in Mark ML uh, Generative plugin. See how it works. In my opinion, it looks fine with mobile version. Review container has fixed width. Also, the parent container has some spacing, which works for mobile version. And this is how it works. So let's uh, transform it into a component. And uh, to make it reusable as a component, we can create a variable for text. To do so, we can select a text inside our component, then click here, plus property text and we call it review and with in this way we can when you reuse this, reuse this component you can set text value on the right sidebar here let's test it yeah this is how it works to change an image to into your instance you can simply select uh, another image copy so uh, select another image on the right sidebar, click copy in the field section, then paste it here. 
and this way you can uh, use different images in your review component. So we have a component for review. Next, let's create a header. It, it, it should be the same width as review. So let's put a text here. Switch. Let's use this style and set center alignment and fill container for text option to make it wider. And as, as a height, let's use hug content option. How to add this yellow background to your headers? To do so, we can we should divide our header into, into, into two parts. So it should be the first part and the second should be the second part. Let's select the second part and switch to the italic. And then let's wrap it into the outer layout container. To do so, should select the, this header, then Shift A, click on Shift A. By clicking on Shift A, Figma will wrap the content with outer layout frame. Uh, let's add fill container for the parent frame and fill container for two. To make it the same width as text, we should select a, a container for the second text and then switch to the hug content here. And for the text, let's do the same for the text. And let's go to, let's select our text container, then go, go to the right sidebar, click on the fill, and select some, our primary accent color. Let's use this orange color and switch this to light. Okay, this is how it looks. Uh, looks as same as here, but we can, to add, let make it all caps. And add some spacing, horizontal spacing. So this is how it look in our ML design. Let's try to preview and see how it works in Marco plugin. So this is how it works in Marco plugin. Uh, as you can see, text work uh, as a text. It's not an image. Uh, user could select it as a text, copy as a text. And so as a next step, let's transform it into component as we do with the review section. To do so, simply select this thing, then click, click, transform components. Let's call it header. And we can do the same as uh, our with review component. Uh, make variable from, not variable, but make edit editable properties with the text. For, for, for the text. So to do so, select the first text. Let's go to here, plus properties, let's go to first text. You can simply change your text like so, and it works with all the components. So the next step, let's try to create uh, this cool card with the mask and see how it works. To do so, let's uh, first let's create a mask for our product with this cool shape. To do so, let's create a new frame. Corner radius, create a component for this frame. And let's place in some image inside this shape. Okay, and as a next step, let's create uh, this bottom card below the shape. To do so, let's create a container for the text, update the background color, and let's reuse the same text as we used with header. So we have a text, then let's create a subheader, let's add subheader with aerial style. and uh, button shop now. Okay, we, ha we have placed our text. Uh, let's transform this into auto layout frame to make text editable in our final 
HTML to do so select this frame then go to the right side back we can click here and for each text set fill container let's update some spacing and space between two for shop now let's use our primary orange color now we have let's, uh, this block let's add some update some vertical spacing and as our reference let's use all caps for the button label to do so you can simply select uh, text then go to the right side bar on typography uh, settings and click case uppercase and now you no need to every time use shift button to make it uppercase okay we have two parts one and the next step let's add the, this bestseller uh, label over over the image to do so let's create a new Okay, we have a bestseller tag and let's put it into our shape. To do so, simply command C, command V, place it over, over the here and remove clip content option. We can create a property to show this bestseller option to our email template in our component. To do so, simply select fra frame with the bestseller, let's call it bestseller. And on the right sidebar, in the appearance section, we can find this icon, apply variable property, then click on plus icon, property, show bestseller, create property. And now when we are going to reuse this component as instance, we can simply turn on and turn off this bestseller option in our email template. Okay, let's now let's put all it together. So we have instance of this block and instance of this block too. And let's wrap it together and create a single component for it. I select both top and bottom parts, then click Shift A. It creates a wrapper for this component. Let's set fixed width. And for the wrapper, let's set 600 width and add a white background and make center alignment and add some vertical spacing and now let's wrap it into a component okay now we have uh, components for product grid for review for header and for this component we can reuse bestseller options and we can simply can easily change uh, component properties on the right side bar using figma native features uh, let's create a product grid to do so mm, let's use Let's get some photo, a couple of photos here, and let's create a component for the cart product cart with the reusable tag with price. Um, first, let's create a new button like, like we did it before. Apply auto layout for the button. Let's call it button. Uh, next, let's create a, a column component for our grid. Let's create a, a new frame with the 300 width. And let's put an image inside. And button two. Let's add a title and subtitle. Okay, we have created a 
base component structure for our column card and then uh, to reuse it in marker plugin let's add an auto layout but before it let's create first uh, this uh, certain let's create a separate component for the card to use this tag over it to do so let's let's use component then wrap it into a frame and then let's create a component for the for this tag and now we can simply turn on or turn off this show or not show this price tag in our, com our component now let's uh, put back this component inside our product card okay we have a product card here and now let's uh, it's a uh, uh, let's add an auto layout to this frame to make it editable as HTML. To do so, select a parent frame and click on the right side bar, click use auto layout here. Okay, we have uh, our component. Let's update some vertical spacing and let's update some horizontal spacing. Let's update some, make sure we have fill container for all children in this frame. So as a next step, let's uh, transform it into com component. So now we have a product card. Let's create a t a two cards. In let's transform it into the horizontal container. To do so, select both cards, then click Shift A. Figma will wrap it into one horizontal container. To make it mobile ready, uh, we should rename it in, in the, to make it mobile ready in the marker plugin, we should uh, remove, rename it into the cards. And now, if we are if we put it these cards in our template and try to preview, it should work fine. Let's try it. And this is how it works. And every text is uh, editable and selectable. To add of these components to the Merkle plugin, simply run the plugin, then select a component, go to the current file section, click on plus icon, Let's add these components. And now we can simply reuse these components while we're building our templates. To do so, let's click on the plus icon by creating a new empty frame. Then let's add a top section, then a header. Then let's add a, a subheader here. Then we can add some product grid below and footer, for example. Uh, as a next step, let's uh, add update spacing for our template to do so. Select a... As a next step, let's wrap our content with grid and header into a separate section to update layout. To do so, select all three components, click Shift A, then add some sp spacing between and spacing from top and bottom. So this is our final result.